Fansipan is nicknamed the Roof of Indochina. Welcome back to the video of Trekking Tour Sapa. In this video, we will show you the most effective and safe way to climb Mount Fansipan. Join us to learn and discover how to climb mountains successfully. Fansipan, known as the Roof of Indochina, is located between the Lai Chau and Lao Cai provinces, approximately 9 kilometers southwest of the town of Sapa. It is the highest mountain in the Huang Lianson mountain range. The peak of Fansipan stands at 3,147.3 meters and is considered the highest mountain in Vietnam as well as the highest in the three Indochinese countries, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Guide on how to safely climb Fansipan. Climbing the summit of Fansipan can be quite challenging due to the steep slopes, rugged terrain, and slippery conditions caused by cold weather and dense fog. Climbing this mountain requires good physical health and endurance, as being careless can result in slipping, accidents, and potential injuries. To ensure a safe ascent to the summit of Fansipan, please consider the following steps. 1. Preparation. Hat. A wide-brimmed and lightweight hat to protect against the sun. Jacket. Insulated and waterproof to keep your body warm and dry, preventing rain or nighttime dew from seeping through. Gloves. Rubber padded gloves for a better grip and effective climbing. Pants. Opt for roomy, stretchable pants that provide comfort and durability, avoiding tight fitting or easily torn pants. Footwear. Choose specialized hiking boots with rugged tread designed for mountain climbing to prevent slipping. Walking stick. Carry a walking stick for balance and additional support when navigating challenging sections. Food and drinking water. Bring along lightweight snacks and sufficient water for your climb. If you can't carry your own supplies, consider hiring a local guide who knows the terrain and can provide food and water. Extra items in your backpack. Additionally, pack a power bank, a mobile phone, binoculars, a raincoat, a multi-purpose knife, a lighter, a flashlight, a first aid kit, and a sleeping bag or tent if you plan to trek independently. 2. Travel itinerary. Day 1, beginning of the journey. 5 a.m. Arrive at the Sapa bus station. Freshen up and listen to instructions from the tour guide. You can leave unnecessary items behind and have breakfast. 8 a.m. Return to the office and wait for transportation to Tramton. 8.30 a.m. Start the journey by heading to Tramton. 9 a.m. After the guides complete necessary procedures with forest rangers, the mountain climbing journey begins. 12 p.m. Take a break for rest and lunch after a segment of the journey. 5 p.m. Prepare for dinner and rest at an altitude of 2,800 meters. Here, each person will have their sleeping bag in private rooms. Day 2. Reaching the roof of Indochina 3.30 a.m. Wake up for breakfast, leave belongings at the base camp, and continue the mountain climb. Approximately 6.30 to 7.30 a.m. Reach the summit of Fansipan, take a break, capture photos, and admire the natural beauty. 8 a.m. Begin the descent back to the two 800-meter resting point. If fatigued, you can choose to descend via the cable car from the summit. 10 a.m. Have lunch at the two 800-meter point and gather your belongings to return to Tramton. 4 p.m. Arrive at Tramton, where a 16-passenger vehicle will transport the group back to the Sapa office. Retrieve your stored belongings, freshen up, have dinner, or take a stroll. 10 p.m. Return to the Sapa bus station and head back to Hanoi, approximately 3.30 a.m. Arrive in Hanoi, concluding the journey to the summit of Fansipan. 3. Important notes for mountain climbing. Familiarize yourself with basic wilderness survival skills, such as tracking footprints, using the sun for direction, and identifying edible plants. Avoid consuming random fruits or leaves in the forest, as some may be toxic. Carry insect repellent due to the presence of insects like ants, mosquitoes, and worms. Minimize the amount of food you carry to avoid excessive weight and make it easier to manage. Bring lightweight energy snacks and carry only filtered water as carbonated or sugary drinks may induce nausea and fatigue. Consider hiring a local guide or an experienced tour guide to assist with luggage and ensure your safety. Always follow their instructions and do not stray from the group. Thank you for watching the video from Trekking Tour Sapa. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to support us with a like, share and subscribe. We are a team of professional local guides with years of experience. If you are planning a climbing trip in Sapa but you don't know what to prepare, where to stay or what to do, please contact us via the information below for dedicated advice.